Malcolm Marie, your favorite big sister mentor and life coach. I missed uploading videos. I have been traveling a lot lately and I have not made a video in a while. And I'm getting ready for Shabbat and I just felt the urge to come and make a quick video for my channel and for my viewers who hopefully is waiting and watching out for my videos. So today I'm just going to give a brief little clarification of what the what are some of the misconceptions about coaching. Now first I want you to imagine a coach, not a sports coach, not yet anyway. Keep a sport, a sport coach in mind. But I want to think about the a word, the meaning of the word coach when it meant uh, like back in the early 1800s where the coach was what carried people from one place to another. It was a vehicle of transportation. Kind of keep that thought in mind when it comes to what a role of a coach is. The other thought is a sports coach. A sport coach builds a team or has a team, those who have the skills, talent, and interests, and then they all work together towards the goal of the team, which is to be successful at whatever sport they're in. So with laying that foundation of what a coach is, I want to kind of be align with you um, some thoughts or ideas people have with coaching and just show that when we look at the definition of what a coach is, those things just does not line up with coaching. The first misconception that um, I, I realize that people have about coaching is that coaches tell their clients what to do. So in, in my um, my clientele is sister sister clients, sisters in the body that um, desire to be coached by a faith based sister or elder in walking this way or being a wife or a mother, whatever roles they may be in. Um, function as a mentor in those areas. But what a coach does not do is a coach does not tell you what to do. When you come to a coach, the expectation is that your coach is going to help you get you from one point to the other. And, and that's the visual of the first definition that we discussed, a mode of transportation. That coach helps you get and fulfill the goals that you may have for your life. It is not the coach's position or responsibility to tell you what your goals are for your life. When we think about it, that's kind of absurd. Each person is, is, is obligated and responsible to themselves and to their own life and to their future. That coach just comes alongside you and help you to attain those goals. Now let's bring into it that other definition, which was a coach over a team. See, the coach has that playbook. The coach has the 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 plans, the scripts, the 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 success stories to help the team become successful. So when you come to a coach, you're entrusting yourself to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that they have that they can use to help you. The second misconception of a coach is that the coach has to take anyone that wants to be Does coached. Does that mean that every sister client that reaches out to Titus 2 is going to become one of our sister clients? Unfortunately not, they're not. Sometimes we won't be able to work with sisters who have not really made up their mind of what they want in their walk with the father or in their lives or in their positions and roles as women, whatever that might look like. Remember, it's not the coach's responsibility to tell you what you need to do. It is only our responsibility or our help or our um, goal to help you reach your and goal. And that might sound kind of harsh, especially when you're talking about you know, people needing or wanting help or assistance in walking with the Father. But at the end of the day, if you have not decided that this is what you want, your coach or Titus 2 Life Coaching, we are not going to drag you to the altar of Yah. 
we're not going to make you do anything that is not inside of you. We are moving with you in the direction that you want to go. We make ourselves available to you. We share our tools, tips, and um, positive reinforcements. But at the end of the day, if a sister client or a potential sister client has not made up her mind that walking with the father and walking in her role as a woman, whatever that may look like, is what she truly desires, then she really is not ready for Titus 2 Life Coaching to walk with her, unfortunately. Doesn't mean we hate her or that we're not showing love. It just means that she might need to spend a little bit more time counting the costs which is what Messiah tells us all to do, to count the costs, to decide whether this is what they want, and then to make up their mind, let their yes be yes and their no be no. And then when they, once that decision has been made, Titus 2 Life Coaching is there to help support our sister client in being successful. Another misconception about coaching is that the sister client won't have to do a lot of work. And even though it's not a lot of work, there's still work that's going to be necessary. You will have homework or self-work. You will have um, checkpoints. You will have check-ins. You will have to, at the beginning, r realize for yourself your goals, your ambitions, what it is that you want to get out of coaching. Again, this is not something Titus 2 Life Coaching can give you. This is what we just help you to figure out and glean and build, um, but you create the end goal. So this is something that's going to take work. I'm hoping that when, when sister clients join Titus 2 Life Coaching, that what they are looking for is, is not someone to tell them what to do, but they are coming here proactive and intentional and ready to put the work in so they can reach their own goals. Remember, this is your goals. This is not our goal, my goal. My goal is to do what I'm doing, which is to make myself available with the gifts that the Father has given me, with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and the experience that I have within the body to help other sisters and women to be successful in their walk and in their role as well. Another misconception people have about coaching is that it is a long process. And that's not necessarily true. Coaching um, and mentoring is only for a season. We're only with you for a season for a few weeks, maybe a couple of months. But then at that point, if we've done our job properly, you will have everything that you need to continue to work towards your goals. Right now, we have two signature programs in our spiritual life coaching, which is GASP, which helps us, uh, which we use, utilize to help sisters in the body to grow in a closer and intimate relationship with the Father. We are currently working on our accompanying devotional to go along with the GASP program. Our second, our second um, signature course is called Pillars which is made up of spiritual disciplines. And these are the things that help us grow and mature in our Just walk. Just know that as a coach, you are hiring us to help you. And if what we're offering, if our personalities, it's not working with you, you have all right to say, maybe I'll go to another coach. That's your power. And so I want to also leave that with you as a tip that, you can choose who you have as a mentor and a life coach. And I hope it's me or someone here at Titus 2 Life Coaching. All right, so that's my time. I'm going to go back and finish my preparations for Shabbat. It is me, Malcolm Marie, your favorite big sister mentor and life coach. Shalom, Queens. Mm -hmm.